Inside Google Ads at the campaign level is a very powerful setting. That is the bid strategy setting. In other words, what are you bidding for in your Google Ads campaign? What do you want to happen? Now, here's where you toggle it. And there's many different options in here. And we'll kind of start just by going over them with the basics. Maximize clicks and manual CPC. And I think these are just kind of like the incredibly most worst option to use for Google Ads. It's like just you know, playing a slot machine, right? This is the slot machine of Google Ads. Uh, Google Ads is going to funnel you into the clicks and boom, they get your clicks, you spend money, but that doesn't mean you actually got any results. If you want to get results with Google Ads, you got to be using something deeper than clicks. Um, there's maximized conversions, there's target CPA, which is basically saying, okay, whatever conversion event it is, let's set a target for that conversion event and CPA stands for cost per action. And then there's target return on ad spend. So, uh, you can do this if you're using some type of shopping cart system. I'm not using a shopping cart system. Uh, but if you are doing e-commerce, you can use return on ad spend to identify keywords that are maximizing order value. And then there's maximize uh, conversion value. So just maximize the order value without you know considering the return on ad spend, right? These ones are all far better than maximize clicks or manual CPC. Using anything click-based, I'm telling you, will get you hosed. And then there was also that recent update that happened in Google Ads, uh, or the notice that came out and the update that's happening where essentially they're eliminating broad match keywords and phrase match becomes broad match, right? Essentially what's happening is Google is basically telling you, hey, are trying to say, hey, we don't want you to optimize for keywords. We'll find the keywords. You just put the event in, right? So for this campaign we're looking at here, we're talking about maximize conversions and target CPA. And this campaign generates calls for a local home service business that I own in the Naples, Florida area. So if you don't already know this, you can come down here. And a lot of people make this mistake. They set it up to maximize conversions. Uh, but down here, in conversions, they're just using account level, all conversions that they have set up in their account, some of which Google sets up by default, which are nothing more than a click, like um, a conversion they may, or a click they might count as a conversion is something if you're running ads in the map and they click on your address, they'll count that as a conversion and they'll call it like a business visit or something, a places visit, right? So to get results, you actually have to select the appropriate conversion, which I've done right here, which is a phone call uh, that's set up in the conversions area of our Google Ads account. So we've got that selected and it's been running for maximized conversions. I wanna see how it does with target CPA. And then, well, I actually already know how it does because I've had this test running. So let's kind of jump back here since you know what we're looking at. And here we are, here are our two campaigns or there's the test and there's the original. And this is one that had been running for well over a year, but right now I'm just looking at it at the period July 1st to December 31st. So the last six months, the second half of 2020. And you can see what it is here. We spent in this period on this campaign, $8,991. We got 182 conversions, 23.98% conversion rate. So pretty good with the maximized conversions. Actually, I'll say very good, better than most. Uh, and our cost per conversion was $49.40 per phone call. And we're selling high value home service projects. Average project size is somewhere in the seven to $10,000 range. So you can see how sustainable it is for us at this 4940. And we also run campaigns in other cities. So it's not just Naples. Naples is just probably a quarter of our service area. So if you're trying to figure out how much I spend on a daily or six month budget, you basically multiply that by four on pay-per-click ads. All right. I wanted to see if we could control this and possibly drill this down lower, right? And what would happen if I ran them side by side, right? Would target CPA truly control the cost? I know on Facebook as the cost cap has been uh, something that in theory sounds good, but I just absolutely get nowhere with it. So I want to see how target CPA does here. And I set up this variant. So when we take a look at it and we come in here and we go into settings, you can see that I set a target CPA at $50 each. So basically right at where my conversion rate was or my conversion cost was over the last six months. So set a target CPA and I let it run. So I set this up around January 1st. I'm just gonna go with January 1st. because it was basically the first day of the new year of 2021 that business was happening like that first Monday that I set it up and let it run. So that's something else I should mention here. The ad schedule on these is simply 
It's a very small schedule. It's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. So we're not running, I mean, we're hardly running a third of the available hours. We're running, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're running, what is it? This is eight hours. We're running 40 hours a week. And how many hours? How many hours are in a week? I don't know. It's 24 times seven. There's 168. So we did. 40 divided by 168, we're only running this 23.8% of the time, we'll call it 24% of the time. So these ad sets, um, or these campaigns that I do for calls, they're only functioning, they're only active when we have people in the office to answer the phones. Uh, yes, we could do a call center and all that, but we found great success doing this and really have no need to do anything else. So if we come back to our All Campaigns tab and we see these, um, you know, we see the cost per conversion here at 4940. What we're focusing on now is what happens out of sample. So that's the time after we set this up. How do they perform? So let's change the settings here to we'll go to January 1, 20, not 2020. That's wrong. 2021 to February 8th, which would have been yesterday and Monday, and set them up. Now we can see that they are spending. All right. So here's what gets interesting. Okay. So we can see that we have had 28 conversions in the target CPA, 20 conversions in the maximized conversions. And our cost per conversion in the target CPA is $38.50. It's below our target at $58. Whereas here in maximized conversions, it's at 82. Now you might say, well, what could have happened there to get you from what was a $49 and change conversion to 82 on those maximized conversions? Simply put, it's seasonality. Uh, the month of January, December and January are the two slowest months. So this was ran through the slow, one of the slowest periods of the year for us. So, you know, it was pulling in data. It was looking at data over a six month period in July, August, um, October, November. We were probably getting conversions here in the maximized conversions at a much lower rate. Whereas for this period where it was running, uh, there's just less activity happening in the market. And subsequently, you know, our cost per conversion goes up. But that said, the target CPA still controlled everything. It still kept us in at a conversion cost below our $50. And you can see our conversion rate here. This is interesting. Nearly double 15% for the maximized conversions versus 28% for the target CPA. So, uh, kind of overall, and if you can't already detect this, I'm feeling like that target CPA does much, much better. Now, and I know it does much better because this is not the first time I've tested it. I've ran little tests like this over the last couple of years many times, and I have all of my other campaigns running on target CPA. This was just something I kind of pulled out to, well, run the test again. I like to do that. Sometimes I like to just keep running tests and making sure that what I think works and what I know works still works and it still works accurately. So I did it for that reason. And I also did it to make this video and well, show the point here with some new fresh data that target CPA is incredibly powerful for controlling costs and getting better results, better conversion rate at a lower cost. So if you're using the maximize clicks or manual clicks or anything, set it over to maximize conversions. Once you get a good sample size in there, then go ahead and set a target CPA to draw down conclusions. If you guys have any questions on this and what I just covered here, drop a comment below. Look for a link to the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. That's where I share more insight, tips, experiences, experiments, and things I'm doing on advertising. Look for that somewhere on the video. Otherwise, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought, your feedback, questions, comments, good video, bad video. Let me know. That's a wrap on this one, guys. I'm signing off on it.